Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to take a look at the Ravnica Allegiance Dovin Planeswalker deck. So this one just came out this weekend. And as you can see, this is white and blue, are the two colours here. And we have Dovin Architect of Law. so the Planeswalker here is Dovin Barn. He's a fastidious Vidalcan Engineer with a peerless ability to instantly spot imperfections in any system. So we get a deck box. 60 card deck so you can either play this with the cardboard or you can enter the code into mtg arena and unlock the same deck so i think that's pretty cool two 15 card booster packs and a strategy insert and two reference cards so let's get started here and as you will see there are two other planeswalkers here with me we have ajani and jace they will be doing the pack Blessing duties, that's where we bless the packs to get extra value and now and then that actually works So we will see what happens today Let's pop this Dovin out of here and take a look And move these guys aside. All right, so we get a nice foil card here Dovin Architect of Law, so he's a legendary planeswalker Dovin 5 loyalty for 6 mana, so the 5 is in the corner there. Plus 1 is you gain 2 life, draw a card, minus 1, tap target creature, it doesn't untap during its control, his next untap step. And his minus 9 is tap all permanents, target opponent controls, that player skips their next untap step. And as you may have noticed, I'm really enjoying the foiling here, so that is pretty cool. All right, then we get a nice deck box here with the man or planeswalker, I should say himself. I'm not sure if he's a man or what. All right, so then take a look in the box. We get the deck proper. Two booster packs, which we will bless right now in the usual strange manner. And Ajani just kicked Jace in the head, not sure if that was hurting, because Jace, as you may have noticed, he lost a finger at some point, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright, so enough foolishness, let's get stuck in here. Hey, before you play, this tells you about playing the deck. A couple of things to know, Flying, Vigilance and Addendum, so that's one of the um, abilities you'll see on some of these cards. And Dovin, Architect of Law. And what are Planeswalkers? So here you go, tells you about the cards, how all that works, if you want to freeze frame the video. And of course the Deck Builders Toolkit, we'll be taking a look at that in another week or so. So stay tuned for that, those are actually pretty good for new players as well. Alright, so as usual I will try to get stuck into the here. Okay, that wasn't as bad as the last one. So, incidentally, if you have not checked out the Domri Planeswalker deck, I'll pop a little card up in the corner. We did that video this morning. And, yeah, let me know in the comments when I'm done here what you think of these two decks. If there's one in particular you prefer, uh, whether that be Dovin or Domri. So now, let's break out the mana base here, get a good look. And we have a secret card there, I'll be showing you that momentarily. Okay, so we'll put these here. So that is the main deck. <clears throat> okay, and then for our mana base we have Azorius Skilled Gate, so you can tap it for either planes or islands. We're going to get four of those, and usually they do an even split between the different colors, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of those, okay, so we're probably going to get 12 islands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, okay, only 10, so maybe there's a bit less blue in here, so we'll set that aside, what are these other cards, so we've got an ad here, thing about on your turn, what you do, the different steps, attacking and blocking, how to cast spells, so if you want to take a look at that freeze frame video, popular magic format, so we have standard booster draft and commander, and 
we have a special code here that I'll be using to unlock this deck in MTG Arena. So that's pretty cool. Bring your deck into the arena. And I've also heard they're doing challenger decks, but I don't think they're doing the unlock code. So we'll see what happens there, but it didn't sound like they were planning to do that. All right, so let's continue here. We have a rare unbreakable formation. So this is an instant for three creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. And I saw this used against me at pre-release. This has addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase, put a plus one plus one counter on each of those creatures and they gain vigilance until end of turn. So that's pretty good. Verity Circle. This is an enchantment for three. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. You can pay four and an island tap target creature without flying. Dovin's Dismissal. This is an instant for four, and he's just throwing some dude away there with a wave of his hand. Is he a being of the same race as Thanos? Leave a note in the comments. I don't think so. I don't think the Vidalcans are quite the same. So this card, put one target tap creature on top of its owner's library. You may search your library and graveyard for a card named Dovin Architect of Law. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search a library this way, shuffle it. So this is one of those uh, exclusive cards for this deck. It goes along with the Dovin Planeswalker card. So we're going to get a couple of those, yep. And then we have a Concordia Pegasus. Prowling Caracal. Couple of those. Spirit of the Spires. Two of those, another Concordia Pegasus. So what are we at now? Three of those. Tenth District Veteran. Chillbringer. I had this one in my pre-release. That was pretty cool. Senate Courier. Couple of those birds. Windstorm Drake. I think I had that guy as well. Got some a lot of nice creatures with flying. Azorius Knight Arbiter. Elite Arrester. So, three, four of those, okay. And that is tapping a target creature. Dovin's Automaton. Artifact creature, Homunculus. So, we get a couple of those. That's pumping up things. Plus two, plus two, and Vigilance. More pumping up here. Arrester Zeal. And... You can give creatures flying, that's pretty cool. So three of those. Summary Judgment, dealing damage to tapped creatures. Code of Constraint. So this is giving them minus four, minus zero, card draw, and making sure they don't untap. If you do addendum. Sphinx's Insight. So we got some card draw, and that is it. So that's the deck. Fairly simple, straightforward. You've got a lot of um, tapping creatures, card draw, pumping things up, lots of flying. All right, so let's continue here with the booster packs. And the idea here, they add these to show, oh yes, you could improve your deck with these booster packs. The odds are not good because you've only got two, but you never know, you might find something that fits in, some blue or white cards, so we'll keep an eye out for those. Let's get started here. We have a Rubber Wool Belt Recluse, Arrester Zeal, another one of those, Rakdos Rastabout, Stony Strength, Azorius Locket, and that's something you could use, Blade Brand, Skewer the Critics. That's good, I need that for my deck. My red aggro deck, Growth Spiral. Clear the Mind. Sphinx's Insight, so we've got another one of those we could use in the deck. And for the Uncommons, we have a Gate Colossus. Scrabbling Claws. Spirit of the Spires. And rare is nice, Glass of the Guild Pack. So this is an artifact for two. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one, so that's definitely something you could add here. 
He's got a lot of multicolored creatures there, very cool. And an Orzov Guildgate and a Thopter token. Okay, so let's continue on here. See how we do. And one note about these Planeswalker decks, you are unlikely to do fantastically well at your local Friday Night Magic at your local game store. But they are very good for new players just getting started and learning how to build a deck, supplement a deck. So, and also I think the best thing here is MTG Arena. You can add the code, practice online, and then play against your friends at the kitchen table or at your local game store. So, uh, that is pretty cool. Okay, second pack we have a Coral Commando Gravel Hide Goblin. Goblin Shaman! Yes, I have to use the Goblin voice at least once every episode, otherwise it doesn't work anymore. Rampaging... Rampaging... Rampaging Rendhorn. Dead Revels. That one looks familiar, had that the other day. Root Snare. Azorius Locket. Syndicate Messenger. And again, that Azoria, Azorius uh, Locket and the... Bird here, we could use those as well. Clear the mind, here's another one we could use. Rafter Demon. Skewer the Critics, another one, excellent. And for the uncommons, we have Dagger Caster, via Shino Rogue. Colt Guild Mage, oh no! Oh no! You're just a puppet, Jace. Did you know this? You're just a puppet. You're just a plastic figurine. Did that blow your mind? I don't know. Let's move on. Junk Trawler. And rare is Repudiate and Replicate. So Repudiate is an instant for two. Counter target activated or triggered ability. Mana abilities can't be targeted. And Replicate is a sorcery for three. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Okay, not bad. And an Azorius Guildgate. There's actually we can't use it because I think we already had four. But you know, if you were short one of these, you could add that. And a beast token. Okay, so that is it. One note about these Planeswalker decks. I did not mention in the previous video. I think they retail for about fifteen dollars each. I was able to pick up the pair for twenty-five from my local game store. So that's U.S. dollars. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal, especially now that you get the MTG Arena code to unlock the deck. Leave a note in the comments what you think of these decks. Are you planning to pick one up or both? And which one would you prefer? Would you prefer Dovin or the Domri Raid deck? Let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And MTG Unpacked is now on Patreon, so if you want to get in on all the pack cracking goodness, I will leave a link in the description for this video. And coming up, we have a whole stack more Ravnica Allegiance content. We'll be cracking more packs over the coming weeks uh, for patrons as well as for the channel. And we'll also be getting stuck into the Ravnica Allegiance bundle and the Debt Builders Toolkit probably next weekend when they come out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.